Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to export a Wavefront OBJ file and import it into processing using the Sado OBJ Loader package, which you can download here from Google Code. I'll have a link in the description so you can find that. Alright, so first of all we have to create a 3D object to export. So I'm going to be using Blender. And we're going to create a monkey scaled up, um, give it a simple material. Uh, I noticed when you use cycles in Blender it tends to not have um, the right material uh, MTL file um, because it's using nodes and it tends to mess, mess the file up. So uh, use Blender Render if you're using Blender. Um, and now we're going to export the file, wait for an OBJ, OBJ. Uh, click selection only because we only want the monkey, we don't want the lamp to be exported, I'm not sure if it is, but it, um, it might be, um, so click selection only, then click triangulate faces and keep for a text order, I'm not exactly sure what these two options do, but uh, I was go uh, fiddling around with these and um, whenever I exported it, um, these when I gave it these two options, it would import into the um, OBJ loader, would be able to actually read it, but if I didn't use these two options, um, it would throw a bunch of errors. So, um, use these two options. <clears throat> and now, we're going to save this in, where is it, processing files, tutorial, I'm going to name it monkey.obj. And close that. Um, now, when we um, navigate to our folder, um, we'll have an OBJ file and an MTL file. Perfect. So now we're going to create the applet uh, folder. And we're going to put an app, um, make an applet.pde file. Um, and we're going to open this in processing. And I'm going to be giving a basic example of how to just get the uh, 3D object to appear on screen. I'm not going to do anything fancy. So, um, the first thing we need to do is import processing's OpenGL package. Same. GL star, and next we're going to import the Sato OBJ loader library. I haven't gone through how to install this. If you'd like me to, please post about that in the comments below. Next, we're going to say OBJ model model, and this declares that we're going to need an OBJ model instance called model later on. Now we're going to create the setup me uh, method and uh, we're first going to set the size of the screen to be a, uh, 800 by 600 and we're going to use OpenGL. OpenGL. Next we're going to create the model instance. So um, we're going to say model equals new OBJ model. I'm going to set this as the parent, and we're going to use s.obj. Oh, not s.obj, I'm sorry. Monkey.obj. Next, we're going to scale the model so we can see it because when it imports, it imports it really, really small. So we'll need to make it bigger. Now we're going to translate the model's origin to its center. And we're going to say no stroke because I don't want wireframe being rendered. Now on to the draw method. 
Uh, first thing we're going to do is set the background color to gray. And then we're going to turn on the lights. Because otherwise we'll just get a silhouette of our object. And we're going to translate the object to half the screen width by half the screen height. So that, that'll move it to the very center of the screen. And finally, we're going to draw the model. Oops, got some cool. So now, if we save it and hit run, nothing's going to show up because we haven't imported our object yet. As you can see in the console, it says, object has no verts, have you loaded it yet? And no, we haven't because we never told it where it was. So we're going to grab our OBJ and MTL files and just drop them onto the processing editor. And it'll say two files I had to sketch. So now we can go in our applet folder and we'll see a data folder. And this will contain the two files that we added. Now if we hit run, oops, what did I do? Hmm, should have worked. I must have moved it off screen. Because it says it imported, there aren't any errors. Just a second. Oh, okay, I figured it out. Um, I had scaled the model up in Blender before, and I forgot to apply that transformation. So um, make sure you apply all transformations when you're in Blender. Um, anyway, here's what it looks like when you got it working. So we've got our monkey in the middle of the screen. Um, thank you for watching this tutorial. If you liked it and want more like it, um, please hit the like button below. That's a lot of likes. <laughs> and uh, if you've got any suggestions for future videos or any questions or comments, uh, put them in the comments. So thanks for watching. And um, yeah, thanks. Oops.